Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Frankie. She's back with another video. So today in Atlanta, I thought I would sit outside, enjoy the nature. It's like 80 degrees. It's a little cool when the sun's out, but it's like 75. And I was gonna, I decided. And I'm going to do a story time. Um, I just ate, had some good old grilled chicken, some burgers, and some steak. Anyways, that's another thing I need to do. I need to do a fitness video because every girl, she needs like 15 pounds. But anyways, that's besides the point. So anyways, I'm back with another video and I decided I'm going to do a story time. The story time is going to be about when I almost had a sugar baby. Girl, I almost had a sponsor. Y'all might hear cars and stuff, and there's this dude out here on his dirt bike. We're gonna pause. Anyway, <laughs> so I did a story about when I almost had a sponsor for a shipping thing. So, anyways, let's do this. We're gonna get this over with. We're gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna synop summarize it the best I can. Anyway, so. About three years ago, I was working at Nordstrom. And, was it three years ago? It might have been like two years, so two and a half years ago. Something like that. Anyways, I was working at Nordstrom, and it was one of those nights I was closing. And the department that I worked in was like considered young contemporary, so we sold like Topshop and like junior clothes. If you guys are familiar with Nordstrom, then you know. Anyway, so I worked in that department, and where the department was situated, it was on the second floor, so you can walk out to that at that you can walk out to the parking deck and so a lot of people would park right there and they would come in through that entrance and so that night particularly I was closing and I was like fixing the sunglasses because we had like a whole table of sunglasses and we had to make sure they looked like presentable so I was fixing the sunglasses and so this white guy this older white gentleman or Caucasian gentleman walks up to me and he's just talking to me and he goes into like detail and how he had this girl he was dating and i think i don't remember if she was a stripper or something like that but she was like out there in that kind of way and he was basically like saying he's looking for somebody that he could have intimacy with and at first i was like he was like no a lot of people get it confused that intimacy is you know sex and sex you know but i just want somebody to be intimate on an intimate level with and just talk and have a conversation with him. but to me it was like as a conversation went on i feel like that's what he was trying to say without really saying that so you know he asked me for my number he's like i want to take you out one day and you know i just want to take you out to eat so we can have a great conversation and stuff like that so i ain't gonna lie in that moment i was like Barbie, this could be your sugar daddy. Like, we, why, why, why deny it? You can have some money in your pocket. So, yes, I gave the man my number. So, over time, he would, like, text me. And it would just be like, one time he called me. And I don't know if it was the same day I gave him my phone and I had forgot I gave him my number. But he called me and he was, like, kind of, like, talking. And then it just got too awkward to the point where I just, like, hung up. And I made it seem like, oh, my phone died. But I really just, like, if people who know me, like, my friends that do know me, I'm very, like, I'm an introvert. And I just don't like awkward situations, awkward conversations and stuff like that. Like, I just tell myself, like, I'm the type of person, if I meet you through, if I meet somebody through a friend that of mine, I'm not the type of person to reach out to that person unless my friend is around. Because to me, it's awkward. It's just the type of person. So, anyway. Anyway, so we're having this conversation. I don't remember exactly. I don't remember exactly what we were talking about, but it just got too awkward. I just had to hang up. So at the time, I was staying with the, me and his other apartment, and so I told him Zell about it, and he was just like, "This other type of dude is like, if you're not doing nothing sexually and you bring it back some money, then cool." Is but not gonna matter no stripper or nothing like that. He was just like, "Break bread, basically." And it was it was just a stupid conversation because I knew I wasn't gonna do it because I just felt too awkward. And so. Oh, time went on, time went on, whatever. And um, I caught myself trying to cut him off and stop talking to him so he won't get the wrong idea that I want him, like, to have this intimate relationship with him. 
So one day I was on lunch break, and this was like over a course of time. I was on break at um, in North. I mean, at, when I was at work, and I worked at the mall. So you can go out to the lobby part of the mall, and they had like seating. And I was sitting there eating my lunch, and then out of nowhere, this man walks up to me, and it was so scary because I felt like he had to be like watching me or something like that. And he kind of was just like, why haven't you, you know, kind of like, oh, you haven't been responding. And I thought we were going to go to dinner and I was going to buy you some drinks. And, you know, what happened? And I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go and And then, let me rewind a little bit. We had a conversation I would kind of like hint, like, yeah, you know, I'm just busy. I'm working two jobs and I have a daughter. And, you know, like trying to like let this man know, like, uh, you're gonna sponsor me and give me some money. Like, it was basically what I was trying to do. And it was not getting away. It was just like he wanted more conversation. And I was just like trying to get to the money portion of it. And after a while, I was just like, I'm not trying to make this situation be an ongoing situation. So it just got awkward. And I was just like, I can't handle this. And I told him so. And eventually, I just blocked him because I was just like, I can't do it. I don't know how people do it. I don't know how. I don't know how females do this, like how you can pretend or you can like be attracted to somebody. Like it's so he was an older Caucasian guy and he was very nice, but he was just like always talking about like I want somebody intimate and he showed me the girl he used to talk to and how he did this and he said he used to take her on trips and he even offered like, Yeah, you know, I I, I do business often and I'm out of the country a lot and I would love to take you on a trip with me and you know, show you a nice time and I'm just like this is awkward. But I was trying to entertain it because I was trying to entertain the thought that this is a possibility that I could have a sugar day. But I can't remember this man's name, but that was pretty much the story. And that was my that was the time that I almost had it. I almost had a sugar baby. I almost had a sugar baby. Now, I don't know how far the situation would have went, how far it would have gone, if I would have kept going with it, but I just was like, it's too awkward. I don't know how to show my attraction and to be like sexy for somebody that I'm not attracted to, and me and you have a huge age gap. It was just awkward. I just couldn't do it. So, mommy had to cut that off. Cut it off. It was cool. It was an experience. Something that I never did. So, that's it. So, if you guys like my story time, you guys want to hear some more stories. This one wasn't as juicy. Because, you know, I didn't really. Yeah. But, you know, if you guys want to hear some more story times or, you know, definitely comment down below. Let me know. I have no problem with doing some more story time. And, yeah, see you guys in my next video.